Hola, good morning German minions, I'm Joe Warlock and on today's episode we are unboxing the fun box. I did one of these the other month and it was quite interesting. And I have another one, the problem is I didn't check the theme. I know that's not unusual, but I didn't. So I'm unsure of the theme. I think for some reason the theme might be boss, which opens up all kinds of possibilities and could be very cool. It's an Italian subscription box. They now have a European site open, which is always good. And I think these retail for 37 euros, which is some amount of money. I don't know because I don't math. You can work it out. Anyway, we're going to dive in. Hopefully it's forced and we'll see what we have. One thing I love that they do is at the bottom, the funbox.eu, but there, Gandalf, you shall not pass. Magic protection seal. I like that. That's a nice little detail. Just something different right let's get in and see what we have dun, dun, dun. probably not force but i want it to be force it says fragile as well which i've just noticed hopefully there's no mug oh there is something huge in here this is terrifying what is this it's a thing from dragon ball z oh my i've said this before i've not really watched dragon ball z so i couldn't tell you who this is but it's very large, like it's it's exceptionally large. It's actually quite cool. Um, oh god, what was his name? I used to know it, it's gone. Remind me in the comments, because I can't remember for the life of me. That's actually quite an impressive plushie. Very detailed, very nice. Looks like the character, even though I don't know who he's called. But yes, if you've ever wanted your own little dwarfy green bandaged head demonic Dragon Ball Z character, this is for you. Next we have a ball. It's Dragon Ball Z again. Which means I know nothing about it. How do I get into this? Oh, it's got a magical seal on it called Sellotape. Ah, oh, the bane of my existence. This may take some time. Open it up and we have Dragon Ball Z combo collection Goku versus Frieza. Okay. This actually tells you the characters. That is useful. So will it tell me who that green person was? Uh, Gis? Gis? Maybe? Was he Gis? Is Gis a word? Is that a thing? I do not know. But here we have two tiny little figures. Oh my, this is bizarre. What on earth? So here we have Goku versus Frieza. I don't know who Frieza is. He's obviously some sort of humanoid version of a kitchen appliance which is fair enough and of course goku one of the stars of the show the main star of the show i have no idea i don't watch dragon ball z these are actually highly detailed nice little figures and i've never seen them before i have zero clue what these retail for but they're actually quite nice in a very strange way moving on we have something force related oh okay oh Interesting. Star Wars The Black Series Titanium Helmets. So we have Kylo Ren and Poe Dameron. They actually look really nice. If you've ever wanted the helmets of the Kylo Ren and Poe Dameron, these are for you. Kylo Ren, a dark warrior strong with a force. Kylo Ren commands first order missions with a temper as fiery as his unconventional lightsaber. And Poe Dameron, an ace pilot. Poe Dameron is the leader in the resistance fighters against the evil First Order. He soars into battle behind the controls of a modern X-Wing fighter. Ooh, I'm going to have to get these out and see what they look like. So here we have the two helmets and they're adjustable for how you want them to stand. Lean them forwards and up. Kylo Ren is looking incredibly battle damaged. It is titanium, so it's actually quite heavy. Beautiful detailing, lovely design. That is awesome. I've never seen these before, but they are the Black Series, which is cool, because they've got a load of Black Series figures. That, very stunning. And of course, we have Poe Dameron's X-Wing helmet. I'm loving the detail in this. You can see the lettering, there's like the battle scarring. There's a lot of effort have gone into these. These are really cool, and are going to look so nice on display. Well, not expecting these, but the box is definitely force. Those are really impressive. I really like them. That's cool. Let's keep going and we have a t-shirt, medium, oh it is Star Wars, and it says, oh wow, 
Okay. It's blue and it says, The First Order rule the galaxy. And the demonic stare of Kylo Ren boring into your soul. I like it, but there's something strange about the colouring. Mm, but I like it. I mean, it is actually Star Wars, so it's not a knockoff or anything. It's a proper official item. It's actually really nice now I look at it. Some good detailing on Kylo Ren's face. That is lovely. Kylo Ren, of course, killing his dad. Uh, Harrison Ford. Han Solo. In The Force Awakens. Sorry, spoilers, if you haven't seen a film that's been out for a couple of years. Anyway, very nice. I like that a lot. Not bad. This is quite a good box. Next up is a picture frame. If you've ever needed a picture of your Star Wars family, like Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader on a picnic, you can now frame it in this. Yes, Yoda, an Imperial Stormtrooper, uh, Darth Vader, and R2-D2. That's not bad, actually. Quite a decent little thing. I've never seen a picture frame in one of these, and I like the picture frame. It's good quality, it's decent, very nicely imaged. Not bad at all, and it is actually from Disney. This is an interesting box. I like this. The items are a little bit different to the usual boxes. Final thing, Naruto, nine premium cards. Yes, a bunch of cards. Another thing I randomly collect is collectible cards, even when I don't know anything about them. So I'll just rip them out and see who's in here. We have Kabuza, whoever that is. We have, what does that say? Kakaji. Well, if I'm butchering these names, I am very sorry, but I have no idea who they are. Second exam survivors, because everybody dies during exams or something. And more people, things, ah, loads of them. Look at them all, there's cards. Um, not a huge amount of value in cards. They're nice enough. And if you're a fan of Naruto or Naruto or however you say it, these might be good for you. And the final thing just tells us what was in the box. August theme. Transform, featuring Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes, Spider-Man, and Transformers. Okay, let's just see everything we got in that box. This month's fun box featured a Kylo Ren t-shirt, first order. Very nice quality, very cool t-shirt, can't complain. Awesome die-cast helmets, they're brilliant, I've never seen them before. It's the Black Series, which is always good. Very, very detailed, very cool. Some Naruto trading cards, not really my thing, but somebody might be happy with them. Dragon Ball Z, this fella versus this one. Um, not my kind of thing again, but actually highly detailed. Very nice little collectibles if you're into Dragon Ball Z. A very nice picture frame. I was never expecting a picture frame in a box, but I like it. I've not got that many picture frames and I need some new ones, so that is okay for me. The green goblin bloke from Dragon Ball Z. Piccolo, 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 Pululu, Lululu, Boo. I can just say random noises and it's probably his name. But that guy, in a very cool plushie, because it is actually quite a nice plushie. I just wondered if he would stand. Nope, he won't. The fun box for July was Force. I got that right somehow without even knowing. That was bizarre. 37 euros. Is it worth it? The t-shirt is worth probably a tenner. The die cast helmets, I don't know. That's minimum of a tenner. Uh, the frame, maybe a fiver to push. This thing, I'm going to say it's probably about a fiver. Those, I don't know. The cards quid i don't the value is probably there in normalish money because i'm pretending euros isn't normal money because i'm from the uk so i don't know maybe the value's there maybe it's not but i quite liked most of the items in that box even the plush i quite like it's bizarre it's big it's got value i like it but i want to know what you think so have you tried the fun box what do you think of the theme force what do you think of the items? Good? Bad? What could be better? Let me know below. If you want to grab yourself a fun box, I will leave a link down below in the description. So, thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button because it really helps me out. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? Because why not? You might find something you like. In the meantime, though, and most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.